you can access the settings that I'm talking about today by opening YouTube on desktop in your browser and clicking your channel icon at top right where the arrow's pointing, then a menu will appear. And the settings I'm talking about today are in two different places. The first is under settings, and the other is in YouTube Studio. So if you're trying to figure out how to navigate to the settings, that is the menu you want to start from. And you can access that from any page on YouTube. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is managing your YouTube account. Your YouTube account is part of your Google account. So you sign into Google and then you access YouTube. So if you have a personal channel, you should be using your personal Google account. Do not use your work or school account to create a YouTube channel for your personal projects because you can lose access to them. And the flip side of that is if you have a business and you are creating a YouTube channel for your business, you don't want someone on your staff to use their personal Google account to create the YouTube channel because then your business can lose access to that. So there's a whole universe of information there about how to manage your accounts properly, but you got to think about it. The Google account owns the YouTube account. And so you want to make sure that Google account ownership is correct. So what I'm going to talk about first are settings in the YouTube settings. So again, you click your profile icon at top right and then click settings on the menu. And this is all your main account settings. And it is the central place for managing the account itself. So in the general settings, you can manage your YouTube channels. A YouTube account can own or manage multiple YouTube channels. And if you wanna create a new channel on the same account, you can choose the option to add or manage your channels. And there's an option to create a new channel that creates a channel on a brand account. That's a whole separate topic, I think, brand accounts. But just know that for your YouTube account, you can actually manage multiple channels. And then once you've signed into your account, go to the notification settings. So under your preferences, you can choose to get uh, notifications for comments on your channel, mentions, people using your content, and all these things. I think the important thing is to decide which notifications are useful to you and only get those. Otherwise, you get so many notifications, you can't even keep up with them. And I know I get sort of notification fatigue. I get too many notifications, I start ignoring all of them. So choose the notifications that are useful to you. And on the same page, you can also specifically set email notifications, which are useful because they're less real time than the notifications that pop up on your phone. And you have to give YouTube permission to send you email notifications. There's certain account things that they have to send you, but otherwise you need to enable that. And I recommend getting the creator updates and announcements from YouTube because YouTube will send emails about new features that you should know about, and it will give you personalized information about your channel. So it highlights, oh, you know, this month you had a lot more viewers, things like that. So I think those are really useful emails to get, but again, Look at the email, think about what you're actually going to read so you're not getting so many emails that it just overwhelms you. Also in those settings, there are privacy settings and you can choose whether your subscriptions are private. That means if they're private, if you subscribe to someone, that creator is not going to see you in their subscription subscriber list the, you know the numbers are there but they won't see you specifically and there are certain places like in comments where people might be able to click and see 
your recent subscriptions, but they won't see that. If you have that set to private, uh, you can allow mentions. So if someone mentions you, that sends you a notification. You can turn that on or off. And then for live chat, you can turn off leaderboard participation and supers purchase milestone celebrations. This has to do with when you're paying other creators. It's like a tip jar. The supers, so in a live stream, there's a live chat. There may be a leaderboard. That's a new feature that very few channels have yet, but there's a leaderboard. Oh, who has the most engagement? You can basically not participate in any of those if you don't want to. And then there are the advanced settings. I want to mention the, usually you don't need to access the advanced settings, but I think it is useful to look at your channel ID and make a note of that somewhere. Because if you need support from YouTube, what they want is your channel ID, because that is the permanent identifier for your channel. So I think it's good to make note of that. You can also set a default channel for your YouTube account. So if you are owning and managing multiple channels, you can go into the setting and set the channel that you're using as the default. So every time you sign into YouTube, it will be on that channel. You can always switch between the channels you own and manage, but this sets a default. 